All right, Cam, all three of them are totally off. This is all off. I just switched this to DVI because this has always been HDMI's. I mean HDMI, sorry, hookup. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to change this. I'm just going to disconnect this, and I'm just going to use these two monitors, the two 24 inches, both of them DVI. That's already hooked up DVI. This right now is hooked up HDMI, so I'm basically taking the HDMI out this and making it a DVI port. Just to show you, sorry for the light, this is the DVI port for that third monitor way down there. It has a HDMI hookup and then a loose DVI port. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect that HDMI port. I'm going to plug it where this converter is. And the only difference between two, it's, hold on, I'm going to have to yank it out real quick and show you. The only difference between the two, there's no missing needles. So you worry about like certain needles missing, it's not. Sorry, you're probably not gonna see anything for a sec. Okay. The only oh, hold the light to my chin. Sorry. The only thing different is that the converter has that four needle which you could see. Which that's the converter. You can see it has four needles on the side. And this one doesn't, but all of them have all that stack needles. So basically, with this, oh, sorry, I'm gonna put the light down back on my shoulder because it's a big flashlight, it's not a small one. <sighs> basically, right here. Oh, sorry. See now that converter thing's not there anymore. It's just that black DVI that's been there. I took out, I took this thing out. So now I'm putting it on the floor, and I'm taking. Put this on my head, maybe. Nah, I gotta put it on my arm. Sorry. Basically, I'm just taking this second DVI and I'm plugging on top where that converter was, which was on top of this DVI port. Sorry for the bad lighting in this video. So now, I'm gonna do that real quick. I'll show you the end result before I obviously switch it over. So let me just plug it in real quick. Okay. Sorry, you're probably gonna see. You know what? Maybe. You can look at Nick for a sec. What? Say hi to Cam and so everybody else once it gets posted up. No. <laughs> All right. Here's my ending result. All right. Yeah, sorry. Now see how it's two DVA ports instead of like that previous video where there was a, that big huge converter with the blue and black. Now there's two DVA ports. All right. <laughs> This one's going to be a long video. Okay, this has already changed the input already before I shut it off, so that's already hooked up DVI. The third one, this one's not going to pop up because it's not hooked up. That I'm not worried about. All right, now we're starting up. Starting up, computer. This The the, the BIOS should come here because that converter port oh, is where uh, the BIOS goes. This one won't pop up yet. So the BIOS popped up. Starting windows. This is black right now. And as you can see, I'll back up. There we go. That's much better. Now watch what happens. Windows comes up here. No sir. Oh, sorry. No signal. And it disconnects. Let me try this one more time. Actually, sorry. I restart and go into BIOS this time. I forgot to go in BIOS. My fault. <sighs> Let me figure out the BIOS button. Okay, I'm restarting the computer. This is the, my main monitor. Let me make sure I press the right button. Because it comes pretty fast. Is it F2? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Oops. Let's try that again. Control. I forgot how to do my BIOS, dude. <laughs> I think it's F2 or F4. I haven't been in my BIOS in a little while. Yeah, I think I did it right. No! <laughs> wow, this is gonna be a pretty pathetic video. You're like, yeah, you don't know how to get into your BIOS? I just forgot the BIOS button, so I'll get this time for sure. Third time is always the charm. Ha! Gotcha. Oh, no, get in there. Yay, BIOS! As you can see, 
I'm in the BIOS, but earlier this had no signal when I started Windows. But I could sit there and go mess with the BIOS all I want, you know. Enjoy my BIOS. I'm going back and forth. Yeah, so. See? Settings. I can mess with my BIOS, the boot up, all that good stuff. And, and as you're telling you, this is not the middle one. This is the left one. Now watch. Exit out. So it works. Alright. Great. It works. It, continue without saving. Obviously, I'm going to do that because I don't know what I fucked with. Now, starting up, Windows popping up. Remember, this is the main one because since the, that converter is, that's the main where everything starts at, no matter what. Boom. Oh. Ah, it's not focusing. Basically, no signal. Now, the middle one works. Ugh. See what I mean? And, well, lighting. Obviously, thank you. That's my stock myself. Two DVI ports hooked up directly. You, the top one is where the converter goes. That's where number one. That's where the bio starts up at. And it should have actually all the stuff over there. But since it's, I don't know, it's been doing that. Oh well. If I go and right click, or oh, you want me to detect it, see if I can detect that revolution. It picks it up. See. But it's saying VGA. It's saying display. Oh, let me tap this. Maybe. There we go. Display device on VGA. And that's the second monitor, which should, should be over here, actually. Um, I'll try that. See what happens. Yeah, see? It keeps saying display. So I click this. Yeah, see? I can't change it. It's saying display device on VGA. When it shouldn't be, it should be DVI like this. It should just have the name. Like this, the V uh, V eight two four eight, which is not. It's when I click on it, it's saying display device on VJ, which I don't want. So if I could try a control panel, like basically what it goes down to, it's picking it up, but it's saying it's, um, yeah, it's saying, yeah, it's both of them the same. See, and it's just, yeah, so, which is weird. I can't figure out why. It just, it's just, it's picking it up on here. It's picking up both of them, but as you can see, it's pitch black. And it's saying display device on VGA. Well, one thing you can do, oh, try to switch the input to VGA, even though you shouldn't because it's a DVI hookup. So let's display it. VGA, which I just changed this now, but the light's too bright for this. Oh, there you go. Show the last second. Nothing. It shouldn't be on VGA anyways because it's hooked up DVI wise. I just switched back to DVI. And it's picking it up, but it's not displaying it. Maybe there's a settings I'm missing. I did detect. It's still showing. It's still loving, you know, showing it on VGA. Maybe that's where I'm missing the line. I don't know. But all I know is I can't configure it. I can't change revolution. I, I don't know. It's just... They're both the 1980p. But obviously it's not popping up. Um, Alright, let me just end this video because... Maybe you can recommend something to me, maybe, or... I don't know. I might post this video online. Yeah. Alright. It's eight minute, nine minute video. Maybe there's something settings I'm missing or the BIOS, but it's just not liking it. Yep. All right, I'm in this video.